so you see uh, now we have installed our we have created our new virtual environment and it has installed all the required libraries or packages Jupyter notebook and Anaconda 2.5.0 IPython and everything that is required to create a new environment and it has said here completed and to activate this environment use activate example ENV so whatever environment we are working on now will be displayed here so now we are working in the default original environment of Anaconda 2 and now if we want to switch in uh, to our new environment so but before to that we can also see what environments are available in our Anaconda environment so to get a list of all the environments uh, just need to type this command conda info e so let me get a list of all the environments in my system which will be in, in this case only one because I have created just one environment and the default root yeah so you see so there are two environments right now one is your root environment which is your anaconda 2 and another is your new virtual environment example env which is in anaconda 2 envs folder which I showed you earlier okay so if you want to active now this star shows that the root environment is activated and whatever uh, thing we do that will be related to this root environment even the spider which we are working it's related to this root environment now if you want to activate our new environment we we'll type activate and activate our new environment name is example E and V. So once we enter this, so you see deactivating environment Anaconda 2, activating environment example E and V, and it comes here. Example E and V is our current environment now. So whatever you want to install, or whatever you want to uninstall, or you have to do anything that will be related to this example E and V environment. So you see this spider as I showed before was with our default Anaconda 2 environment and it has already Theano installed so if I type import Theano okay it won't show any error because Theano is installed in this environment but what about this new environment example env Theano is not installed here so if I type Theano here it will it should show error so if you want to create a new spider uh, script for this environment you just need to type spider and it was some command maybe yeah it was new and instance because I have already one spider running here so I need a new one so I will make it here instance okay and it should create another spider environment which is in the example env virtual environment okay so we'll wait for it yeah it's creating the new spider environment and we'll open our piano sky all here okay so you see it's entirely a kind of a new spider environment you see this one is our anaconda 2 environment which we are using from before and this is our new example env environment so in this i haven't installed theano so if i type import theano it should show error okay so you see no module named theano so this example env is completely a new environment for you to work on so if i want to work on theano on this environment i'll work here and i'll create another environment to work with another library in this case suppose i want to work with my scikit learn for machine learning i can type import sk learn and it actually scikit learn gets default installed in anaconda environment so it won't show error so in this environment i can work on different projects and in anaconda environment i can work on separately different projects so you get a basic idea of what's the role of a virtual environment and i will show you one more thing so now our uh, suppose our environment is example env okay this is our current environment and if you want to see which environment is running now 
Anaconda info E info and E. So you see now star is here. It means we example E and V is activated. And now suppose we want to deactivate this environment. Okay. So you can just type deactivate and it will uh, it will just deactivate all the environment. So it has come here C users repul. So again if you want to activate, I'll type activate anaconda2 which is my default environment. Okay. So anaconda2 environment is activated. If I want to activate Keras, oh sorry, the example ENV, activate example ENV and it will activate example env you can see here okay and if you want again you want to switch to anaconda so activate anaconda it's caps i guess anaconda 2 okay so it will activate anaconda 2 and whatever packages you you see you can see conda list here conda list of anaconda 2 environment and it has Theano here, 0 0.8. But if I activate my example env and type here conda list, I should not get Theano here because I haven't installed it. Mm, so you see, st, there are no Theano it's only it's not there in example env okay and one more thing i'll show you when you are creating your new environment everything gets created like uh, for you just go to like in in the initial video when we installed anaconda we saw that anaconda was having this anaconda cloud anaconda prompt similar to this everything is created for your example env see anaconda prompt for example env ipython for example env Jupyter Notebook for example ENV, even Spider for example ENV. So you can just click here and use the Spider or use that environment or from here you can, from your command prompt you can activate or you can go from your start menu and you can select either you want to use the Spider of your default environment Anaconda 2 or your Spider of example ENV. Okay. And one more thing in the folder C users which my anaconda 2 is installed here so this is my default environment and envs will store all the virtual environment so if i click here you see everything similar to our anaconda environment is created and in live you go to site packages and it will hold all the packages which are installed here which is uh, for example env for this virtual environment whatever packages we install will it will be available here for example env environment and for your anaconda 2 environment it's simply you go to anaconda 2 library and site packages you will have all the packages installed for anaconda 2 environment okay so that's it for how to create your virtual environment and if you want to uh, remove a virtual environment there's a command for it this one yeah to re delete a virtual environment you just need to type your suppose i want to delete my example env so conda remove dash n example env and it's dash dash all and this dash dash all will remove everything the entire environment and if you want to remove just any package then you have to write conda remove example env and a package name in a close square bracket so if i want to remove this delete this uh, virtual environment example env i click enter and okay okay actually it's activated so we need to deactivate it okay so let me switch to another environment and try to do it activate anaconda 2 so now my example env has got deactivated and now if i remove yeah, conda remove example env all. Now it should remove. Yes. So you see, it's asking permission to uninstall all these packages and delete this environment. I'll give yes, and it will uninstall and delete this environment. 
okay so you see now I have deleted my virtual environment example env and it has said unlinking packages and it's completed now if I check for my uh, existing environment I can type conda info e and I should get only one root env. so you see only root environment is there which previously we are getting example env is not there because just now we removed that environment even in the start menu you won't get those so you see only anaconda prompt ipython spider there is no anaconda prompt for example env there is no spider for example env so in this way you can you create a new environment you can use that environment or you want to remove you can remove that environment okay so i hope uh, this should help and you can explore more about this there's a lot available on net and thank you